Well, the New South Wales Premier taking his campaign to Sydney's southwest as he works to sandbag seats before polling day. Julia Bradley, well, she's been covering the New South Wales election all the way. She's following Dominic Perrottet's team. Julia, which electorate is he headed to now? Well, Simon, we know this is an incredibly fluid campaign. We're on the move once again. Uh, and this time we are in the electorate of Holsworthy. So we've actually just jumped off the bus. So we're now heading over here to this pre-poll booth as we await Premier Dominic Perrottet. So this is an electorate that's held by the Liberal Party. It's on a margin of 6%. The previous MP, Melanie Gibbons, she was actually uh, dumped and she didn't get pre-selection for this seat. It's a seat she held for many, many years. Uh, from 2015 onwards and prior to that she was also the MP for the electorate of Menai which was a similar area it took in this same district but she was dumped from this so there's going to be another Liberal candidate that's going to be put up for tomorrow's state election going up against Labor. Melanie Gibbons however was given that political lifeline that she was looking for and she's going to be running for the seat of Kayama as the Liberal candidate there which is of course held by that Liberal turned independent MP Gareth so we're currently just here with the media pack and also volunteers waiting for Premier Dominic Perrottet to arrive. He's had an incredibly busy day, as has Chris Minns, which we've seen there from Danica. And I caught up with Dominic Perrottet a short time ago when he was at a booth in Penrith. Feeling good. Um, you know, obviously we've got the plan to take our state uh, forward. It's difficult economic times and it's the Liberals and Nationals with the plan to put downward pressure on families' budgets across the state, continue to build the infrastructure like right here in Penrith. Uh, just drove past Nepean Hospital, hospital that Stuart advocated for, built stage one, stage two on the way. It's going to make a real difference to healthcare for people in Western Sydney. And these are the projects that make a real difference to people's lives. When you've got that strong financial and economic management, you can do that. And uh, We're getting out and about right across uh, the state today and uh, ensuring that uh, people uh, vote one Liberal. Western Sydney really is a region that could make or break the leader's state election campaigns. There are plenty of seats there that Dominic Perrottet has been desperate to sandbag. Penrith, of course, the coalition's third most marginal electorate held by Stuart Ayres, that former front bencher. We caught up with some voters in that electorate of Penrith about what issues they care about most and who they're going to be voting for. What could sway your vote? What issues do you care about? Um... As long as they're doing things for the Australian public and doing what they say that they're going to do and not going back on their word, then that's all we can hope for, really. What are the issues that you care most about? The environment. It's what we live in. We're all children of the universe. It's best that we look after it. I've just put a, a blank vote because I've seen good and bad in too many of them and I don't want to be inadvertently voting for the wrong, voting for something that's against my morals. I'll be voting for Liberal. Or I always have. And I probably always will. I think the cost of living at the moment is ridiculous. Um, I think the rental crisis is ridiculous. I think that they need to be putting more people on work, increasing wages, so that we're able to keep up, um, upkeep with our bills and everything like that. But for now, Simon, the focus for the Premier is the electorate of Holsworthy. He's just arrived and he is now in a kebab shop in the electorate meeting the local <laughs> business owner. So this is going to be so important for the Premier in the final day of the campaign, getting out, pressing the flesh, meeting locals and trying to sell his message. Halal snack pack or chips, Julia? I wonder what he's going for. Or maybe a kebab. We'll just have to wait and see. At least it gives you an opportunity to have some lunch. Oh, here we go. What is your favourite dish to order at a kebab shop? Are you a snack pack? Beef kebab. Beef, Beef kebab. Beef kebab. Okay. <laughs> this guy's a good man. And what ingredients go on that kebab? Well, we'll have lettuce, we'll have tomato, cheese. Not everything. And some garlic. And some garlic. Yeah. That's the sauce of choice? That's the sauce of choice. Fantastic. <laughs> Thank you. You heard it there first, Simon. We'll have to wait to see whether that will influence voters at all.